Hey guys, this is Ron Perry and welcome to the Model Railroads and Structures Show. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Model Railroads and Structures Show. In today's episode we'll be building the Model Tech Studios cruiser boat. Oh, looks more like a cabin cruiser to me. In this kit you'll find it comes with uh, the tie-off, the lifesaver, the, the steering wheel, has the detailed parts, uh, all the rest of the parts are, oh, and uh, the poles to hold up to the back of the roof. Um, and the rest are resin parts. In this episode, you'll learn how to uh, clean off the mold release, paint the parts, and weather the parts. The first step of any resin model. warm water with this soap. To start this model off we need to, as with all resin models, just wash it in soapy water. This will get all the release mold, the mold release off of the model. And your paint will stick properly onto it after. Most of the time, poured resin comes with flashing so I'm using my number 11 razor blade to cut away this flashing usually the flashing is uh, at the back of the part so you can scrape it away without worry of cutting away details I'm just gonna take a minute to cut all the flashing off of all the pieces so that when I move on to the next step of painting the parts, I don't have to jump between stages. After all the parts are cleaned with soap and water, all the flash has been taken off with the razor blade, I take them outside and prime them with my go-to primer, Krylon Camouflage of the color Khaki. I'm using the same colors as the pictures show in the instructions. I like how the brown looks like mahogany uh, with all the off-white colors. Having said that, I paint from the back to the front, meaning on the side of the boat there's a window that's molded into the resin. We really can't do anything but mimic uh, a black interior so I paint it black I next move on to the white part of the boat and in this part I use poly scale aged white I don't want to have a nice crisp clean white like it's a painted a freshly painted boat I want this boat to look like it's had many years on the water 
I also want to get the first coat of white on the boat as soon as possible because there's going to be about two or three coats to get it to be a solid white coat. For the window frames, in the interior details of the boat, like the decking and the dashboard and the instrument panels, I'm using a dollar store paint, a folk art brand, and the color is plaid. It is a light brown or tanny color. I like to slip in a cheap dollar store paint whenever I can. It's good to note though that a dollar store paint takes many coats to make the brush marks disappear. It's not the best but if you have the model primed already with a similar color, it works just fine. Moving on, the next color I use is raw umber, a dark brown color of paint. Also this paint I use is more of a professional quality, has much more pigment in it and that way I don't have to use as many coats to make all the brush marks disappear. Furthermore, I use a brush with an angled edge that has stiff bristles that allows me get to get into the cracks without getting paint onto other parts of the model too much. If a small bit of wet paint gets onto some dry stuff, just wipe it off. Be patient. Do as many coats as you think is needed to get everything covered and looking the way you want it. Being impatient and leaving these parts with brush strokes and stuff will, will show inevitably in the end. So I left the model, I let it dry for a bit and I came back and now I'm just uh, doing my last touch ups just to make sure everything looks nice and uh, ready for me to dirty up. When doing these small parts, I like to use the side of the brush uh, along the strands of the bristles to, use, to paint the small parts. This way it just lies onto the part and not into the cracks where I don't want the paint. Remember, if a little bit of paint gets onto a part where it shouldn't be, just wipe it off. Maybe have a piece of paper towel folded nearby to get into the crack. When adding parts to the model, before adding glue, try the piece on to the spot where it should go. Sometimes you may need to bend the piece a little bit so that it fits properly onto the contour. I use the free flowing CA at this point so that I don't have any gel CA squeezing out from between the joints. While sizing up the front window, I dry fit everything and noticed that the front window was a little bit too wide to allow the other side panel to fit properly. So I just shaved off one side of the front window and it allowed the side panel to sit just right. Using scissors, I cut my windows to fit. There's two ways to do windows though. In this model, I don't really want people to see the inside, so I'll just use my weld bond glue to, to glue in the window panes. 
However, if you want crystal clear windows, you can just use future floor wax. I'm a CN modeler so I always have some action red around. I just use that on the lifesaver. I like to hold my parts in place while the CA sets. It only takes a few seconds for it to stick. But be careful. If you have wet CA around window glazings, it will it will add a white film on your windows. So don't add too much CA around window glazings or you'll find out the hard way like I did. Before I can add the roof, I have to add the support posts at the back of the boat. I just add a drop of CA into each corner of the boat and place the wire that I painted white earlier into these corners. I'll just cut the wire with my scissors, but after they're dry of course. I cut the roof supports by putting the roof panel up to the wire and cutting with scissors. If the, si if the support posts fall out of place, don't worry, just glue them back in place after the wire is cut. I just added a little bit more glue so that no little fingers can knock these free. Considering what I said about roof glazings, I use the gel CA on top of the panels so that it doesn't fall over the windows and cause them to go white. I also dabbed in just a few spots. I put two small dabs of gel CA on top of the support posts so that they'd hopefully stick to the roof. This project was supposed to take just one day, but looks like the little ones got home from school just before it finished. That's okay. To make this boat look all used and dirty, I'm using plain weathering powders. I don't know what kind they are, but they don't have no fixer like the MIG pigments do. This way I can constantly move the weather the powders around until I'm happy and then at the end I can use a clear coat finish to fix them in place. The trick to not making a mess is to have one brush that is dry and one brush that is wet. Just don't stick the wet brush into the pile of weathering powders. Another note is don't worry about putting too much weathering powders on. 
At this point, if you're just using alcohol to wet these powders, they won't stick in place and you can wash them all away if you don't like what you see. I just want to repeat myself though, don't worry about adding too much powders because even if these dry with your alcohol in place, you can just wet it again with alcohol and remove them all or just tone them down. Another point is, I don't use straight alcohol, I use my alcohol in black ink. I know this is the scary part to most modelers, but don't fret, you can fix it. On this top deck, I wanted the powders to stick into around the, the hatch on the front, so I first dabbed it with some alcohol so that the powders would stick to it. Not shown on camera is after I was done putting on these rust colored powders I also did put in some black colored powders so that I could get into the cracks a little bit better. To begin with I thought that the rust colored powders would be fine but adding the black on the top hatch and underneath the, the ledge around the boat added a lot of shadow which looked great. So that's my version of Model Tech Studios Cabin Boat Cruiser. I hope you liked today's video and if you liked it, please press the like button. It helps us, helps us a lot in the YouTube rankings. Also, if you want to see more videos like these, just subscribe to us and maybe even share this video on Facebook. If you've already done all that and you want to show more support, please just go over to patreon.com slash Ron Perry, R-O-N-P-A-R-E. Links in the credits. Bye.